Imagine for a moment that you find yourself walking through a forest. You begin to hear steps approaching you, followed by the sound of a ghoulish laughter. This laughter you hear approaching closer and closer. It is a sign that cannibals are nearby. Today, we're going to take a closer look at a disease that causes uncontrollable laughter to people who eat human flesh. This terrifying disease called Kuru. There are several tribes in New Guinea that practice cannibalism. This tribe is dedicated to looking for human corpses to consume their brains. According to their belief, eating the brains of the newly deceased will grant them more wisdom. These macabre rituals of this tribe are world famous and they inspire a terrible fear to the people who find themselves too close to these type of tribes. We know that the belief of increasing our wisdom or intelligence after consuming the brains of a recently deceased person is an erroneous belief, and that the origin of said beliefs is simply superstition. However, this has not stopped this cannibalistic tribe, who even to this day continue to practice this morbid ritual. You can find images on the web of these people eating human brains. Soon after a group of civilized people made contact with these tribes, they began to notice something strange. Many of the tribesmen suffered from a rare illness that leads to their death in only six months. The strange thing about this disease were its symptoms. It begins with the shaking of their entire body. Little by little, people lose their ability to control their own movements. As the disease progresses, it incapacitates the victim and begins to present emotional instability and uncontrollable laughter. In the end, the symptoms of the disease are so severe that it causes death due to laughter and convulsions. Dr. Daniel Carlton decided to try to find the origins of this terrible disease. At first he thought it was hereditary, but he could never imagine that this disease was caused by something very unpleasant. This disease was caused by a prion, an infectious particle that is transmitted by the ingestion of human brain tissue. When members of the tribe gathered to eat the brains of the newly deceased people, they were sentenced to death. It was difficult to determine the origin of this disease because it may have a slow incubation period. It can last up to 30 years after ingesting human brains, but once the organism attacks, the person is dead in the next six months. It is disturbing to think that this uncontrollable laughter of a person could mean that he or she is a cannibal. It is believed that the last case of the Kuro disease occurred and was documented in 2005, that it is no longer a threat and that the practice of cannibalism has decreased. However, this disease gained notoriety in popular culture. You can find video games like DayZ where your character can become a cannibal and get infected by this disease. You can then hear the character laughing or crying uncontrollably. Tell me what you think about this disease. Do you believe that some tribes around the world truly believe that by eating human flesh, they can acquire more wisdom? It is certainly terrifying the thought of arriving somewhere and hearing a person manifesting uncontrollable laughter and to know that he or she might be a cannibal. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, assume nothing and question everything.